Hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to do a video on a plant that everyone I think should have in their home because of how amazing it is and how useful it is. And that plant is the aloe plant. Um, this is my aloe and I love how cool it looks. It grew kind of funky. Um, this is, um, I think most people know, but if you don't, is used um, quite commonly for burns. Sunburns, kitchen burns, which is why I think everybody should have it and it's easy to grow um, in your home. So first I want to talk a little bit about the plant, like how you can grow it, what it is, and what it does, um, how it heals. So the aloe plant is a succulent, which is a type of cactus. So it, um, a succulent is a plant or cactus type plant that has um, it holds its water mainly in the leaves. So this has um, a gel in the leaves, so they're not really mushy, but they're firm. And that's also where a lot of the healing properties are, actually all of them, in the leaves. Um, and they like um, dry soil, pretty dry soil, um, a lot of sun, and um, not super bright sun though, because they can the leaves can get burned. Um, so like a really bright shady area or indirect light, like south facing windows, um, and warmth. The soil, if you have these, you can use a cactus or succulent soil or a soil with some pumice in it that has good drainage. Um, when you plant them, you want to let the soil dry out completely. Um, before you rewater it, because then they can also get um, overwatered pretty easy too. Um, but they're really easy to keep. And they like to be a little bit root bound, which means if you put them in a bigger pot, they'll grow to that pot. But they really like just a little bit snug, I found, because this one does better in a little bit snug, but not super root bound, meaning they don't like it really tight in a pot. Um, and they can be small or they can get really big too. So if you put it in a really big pot, it's going to get really big. They grow indoors or outdoors. Um, in um, certain states like California, desert areas, they are outdoor plants. I live in Colorado. Um, I am sure they're here somewhere. I just do them inside though because we do have winters. They'll probably survive. I'm sure people can attest to that. I just don't do it. Um, so if you have a place and you want to do it in your yard, still usable as um, a healing plant, even outdoors. One of our stores here sells aloe leaves. They're like huge. Um, and you can just buy the leaf even um, if you wanted more. Um, so they're really easy to grow. Um, and I remember when I was a kid, my grandma, who we call Granny, um, had one. I think that might have been the only plant, indoor plant she had. I'm not sure. But um, I remember being sunburned, and they would cut the leaf off and use that gel for sunburns, which is its main use um, for us. And um, ever since then, we've had aloe plants. I've had aloe plants. Um, so aloe has been used throughout history. Um, Cleopatra used it, as, it was her lotion to make her skin soft. Um, in the 1950s is when it really started to be of use in the Western um, tradition with radiation burns from the nuclear testing and the, and the um, post-World War. And, um, but it's been used throughout eons. Um, so that gel that's in there, it, is, it has anti-inflammatory properties. It has, um, it's an emollient, which means it protects and smooths and um, smoothing and softening. And um, so with that, it will, with burns especially, it makes it feel good and it protects it. And it also um, reduces the inflammation um, and it has some um, antiseptic properties, so it helps keep it kind of clean. Um, you have to still clean it, but 
you know, protects it from the outside. So it doesn't it'll kind of fight infection, but of course you still have to clean it with soap and water. Um, and it'll help stimulate the immune system to heal wounds. It does it with burns, insect bites, um, cuts, minor cuts. Um, I was trying to think what else. It, um, it'll help speed healing too with the burns and the insect bites and it will calm down the, the irritation, the itchiness and everything. The other thing that aloe is used for, and you can buy these in stores, um, they sell the liquid aloe that people drink, aloe juice. Um, so think of the inside of your stomach and your intestines as the same type of surface as skin. So it's considered topical too, and it will help with indigestion, constipation, bloating, um, not bloating, maybe bloating, um, and ulcers. It will help heal that. So people, I wouldn't do it with your plant at home because it's a different kind of process that they do to make it that liquid. Um, but it will heal that too on the internal part. So they use aloe for that too. Um, so if you have any sort of rash from, if you're out in the woods and you hit a up on a, a plant and you get that irritation, it'll help that. If you have eczema, which is that scratchy, bumpy rash too that shows up with winter stress and stuff, it'll help that, relieve that. Um, the biggest thing is if you, in the kitchen, kitchen burns and sunburns, especially with children, it is safe for anybody topically. If you are pregnant, do not use aloe internally. It is not safe if you're pregnant. Um, but topically, it is super easy to grow, super cool looking. I mean, come on, that is a neat looking plant. And when you want to use it, um, if you get a burn, you just basically, with a clean knife, or if you're, if you're panicking, tear it, I do. But cut the leaf off, rip it open and the gel in the inside and just place that right on top of the burn area, the insect bite, the irritation. Um, you can also take, now my leaves are kind of small, but the bigger leaves, you can cut these, um, take them off, cut them open, um, wrap them individually, the pieces, if you want to cut like a two inch piece or buy those really big ones that, that some of the health food stores sell and wrap them individually, throw them in the freezer or the refrigerator. Um, the, it'll keep in the freezer like six months and you take a piece out um, and just unwrap it and put the cold gel side down on your skin, rub it on there like a lotion. Um, you could place it on an irritated part, just wrap it with a bandage or something and leave it on there. The coolness helps if it's an inflamed, really irritated area, and then the aloe will help too to heal that. So that's something kind of like a first aid kit type thing you can keep in your freezer too. Um, but definitely something you want to keep on hand. So remember, it has, um, has anti-inflammatory. Um, emollient, which is your softening lotion type thing. It's protective. It has antiseptic properties. Um, so it just soothes it and calms it and makes it feel better, especially if you have kids or if you're just kind of, you know, like me in the kitchen, get those burns. You're like, oh my gosh, why did I touch that? You need an aloe plant. And kids love these too because they're so easy to grow. So it could be your kid's plant and they sell them in the store. The grocery stores have them all the time too, and it's just really a cool plant to own. So I hope you like this. Um, I plan to do more videos on herbs and plants and then my oracle readings, um, so please subscribe. You can also check me out at um, coloradoherbalist.com or I'm on Instagram at colorado underscore herbalist. So thank you. I hope to see you soon. Bye.